here we are with Gleipnir episode 3. So yeah, if you like what you see, leave a like, subscribe, or comment, let me know what you think. And yeah, let's get to the episode. Oh. I think this is a boy out of the vending machine. Oh. Okay. So it seems like it's an alien being thingy. And he wants to find the coins. Is this a, I think this is a guy out of the vending machine, right? <clears throat> and he wants to find these coins. And in exchange for the coins, he grants wishes. And yeah, obviously, I guess he tries to find ways to find more, right? But he maybe like makes a f he. I think he tried to make a photo of it, maybe to spread it. Like here, I'm looking for coins. Blah blah blah. If you have a coin that looks like this, bring it to me. But yeah, you can't use them. Like smartphones don't work and stuff. Only humans can see him, which is very interesting. Very weird. Like, who is he looking for? Why? I guess we will find that all out. Maybe, maybe not. I mean, depending on how far this anime, the season goes, right? Because this is not an original anime, so it's based on a manga, so... Since there's only one season, we might not get all the answers. And we probably don't get a season two. <laughs> I guess. <clears throat> Is he cleaning for her? He can't stand the chaos. Oh. <laughs> mm hmm Yes, that makes sense if monsters are looking for these coins. Makes sense. They have to know how it works. Doggy. Like a real costume, right? Wouldn't be anything for me, dude. I would die inside. <laughs> Is she really going in naked? <laughs> Got <Goddamn. laughs> The swimsuit. Dude, he had the chance to get her inside him naked and he denied.
God damn. I don't want to know how that feels. <laughs> Don't break your arms. <laughs> I guess that must be a weird ride if your body gets moved and you don't do it yourself. Interesting. It's really an interesting take, right? Who controls who, basically? <laughs> God damn it. And he cleaned for her, right? Because she obviously didn't do it. <laughs> because on one side, I would say, I could imagine that the costume controls it, right? Because it basically, like, this around the whole body of the person inside. <clears throat> but on the other side, I could say it's like a puppet, right? God damn. Yeah, I something I came to something I thought about, maybe the girl we saw at the end of last episode was maybe her sister. Because same eye color, same face shape, just dark hair. Six months ago. What the fuck? Ooh. What the fuck? 
Are they just imagining this or? I think they imagined it. And I like Claire's design. <laughs> Looks good. He sounds like a robot. <laughs> Completely emotionless. Give him some confidence. If she did it. At least the family's not dead. <laughs> okay, so it's one of those families. Parents never home. Oh, there's Nana again, I think her name is. Was it Nene? Three days already. Oh, really? I mean, yeah, if she is a monster, then she probably can can transform back and forth, right? <laughs> I mean, how is he gonna sm supposed to smell her if he isn't transformed? I think. Oh yeah, I think his human form also smells better, right? Oh?
Melling? Many can smell the gender. <laughs> Oh, is this her sister, maybe? Okay, not... My sister? Alright, so the girl from the last episode at the end wasn't the sister. But she has also red eyes. But the hair color is different. And shorter hair. <laughs> going all out. She seems weird right now. Because this time she said she murdered many, or she killed many. She's a murderous demon. Before she just mentioned it, so she does the parents. I wouldn't say that's many. I have an idea. Here we go. She just vanishes? Oh. I guess it is the sister that we saw. What the fuck? Looks like she's eating him. This is the girl from last episode, right? Wait, what? What? I have to rewatch this. I, I missed something. The hair got shorter. Okay. <laughs> She's just inside. Yeah, it doesn't fit the description. 
I smelled you. If she's the girl from last episode, then of course she's not going to try to kill them because she wanted to meet him, right? I think I missed something because I didn't quite catch that. I have to rewatch re the ending. <laughs> It is the girl from last episode. <clears throat> now she realizes that this is doesn't said. Uh oh. Uh oh. The hair is growing. <laughs> oh, she's pissed that there's a girl inside him. That's why she didn't attack him. She wanted to meet him. Now she's pissed that there's someone inside. It's mine. <laughs> I guess that doesn't hurt him. <laughs> so yeah, that was the episode. Let me know what you think. But yeah, very interesting. Um, my idea I had earlier that I wanted to say, I think I didn't do so, so I say it now, um, was, I had the idea maybe <clears throat> that Claire is the girl from last episode, and that she transformed Suichi, I think his name is, Suichi, uh, whatever, um, uh, Suichi, whatever, um, that she maybe wished for him to transform because she maybe wants to use him for her own goals was my idea. And that she maybe changed her hair color, right? From dark to blonde. Um, <clears throat> because now it's end, like I said, she said um, that she killed many and that she's a murderous demon. When before she only said that she killed her parents, and I would, like I said, I wouldn't say that that's many, right? So <clears throat> I thought maybe that was all, all just a lie to get Suichi, Suichi on her side to be able to use him for her own goals, whatever those are. But now it seems like that that's false and that's her sister here right now. Um, but also, if it's not the sister, then we know at least that it's the girl from last episode and that and she wants to meet. Suichi, for whatever reason, we don't know, but yeah, obvious from, not obviously, but from what it sounds like, it's also Claire's sister, and yeah, the whole memory erasing part confused me a bit, how she could erase her memories, definitely made Suichi stop her, right, and she had like tears in her eyes, so I, I'm, I'm a bit confused about that part, um, yeah, like, how did she erase her memories? Why did she erase her memories? Because maybe because it's her sister and she was committed to kill her. Because she said she would shoot her in the in the in the leg or whatever, but she aimed for her head, right? I guess. Um. So yeah, and yeah, at the end now, Claire thought that her sister, if it is her sister, figured out that she was inside, but she didn't. She just like I said, um, probably stopped attacking him because she wished that he would turn into that monster costume, whatever. And 
That's why she stopped, because she wanted to meet him anyway, right? Would make no sense to keep attacking him, right? Um, and yeah, now that she knows that there is someone inside, she is pissed, right? Because she wants to meet him, she wants that is basically her property, right? That he belongs to her. Um, we don't, I mean, we don't know why she is so possessed about it, right? So yeah, will be interesting to see what is going on here, right? If it's really the sister, what is going on with Claire? Because Claire seems a bit sussy, right? A bit suspect. And um, because, like I said, I, I don't know if that's maybe really her sister or maybe she just told him the story to get him on her side, basically. Um, or maybe if she just wants to use him because he is a good tool, right? Because she can go inside him as like basically control over him for the most part. Um, and she's just a uh, human, right? So alone she can't do much, but with him, she has way more power, basically. So there is like lots of stuff going on right now, and obviously, like, it, let me check the beginning again. Um, what did he say? Uh, it seems I'll need humans to help me find them. It's okay, don't worry. The inhabitants of this planet are all good people. I'm sure they'll find you. Yeah, so that guy seems to be an alien or some shit. So, also questions. Who are they supposed to find? Why is he looking for the coins? I'm, but like I said, I think I'm pretty sure that that's the guy from the vending machine, right? It's been a few days since I watched episode 2 and 1, so I can't quite remember if it's the same guy, but I think it is. I mean, looks very much like it. Dark pants, blue shirt, uh, white shirt, and the blonde brownish hair color. Um, and so, yeah, lots of questions, right? What's with the boy at the beginning? Is it really the sister? What's going on with Claire? And all that stuff. So, yeah, will be interesting. I definitely like it still. I think it's very interesting. And I like um, the fan service. <laughs> I like Claire's design. I think she looks pretty good. And so, yeah, can't wait for the next episode. So, yeah, if you like what you saw, leave a like, subscribe, or comment. Let me know what you think. And I would say thanks for watching. Until next time. Bye-bye.